Good morning guys, Hi. welcome to today. We are at the trailer, you guys probably already know that, and we are relaxing. It has been such a whirlwind week for us with our camping trip and I feel like I've been packing and unpacking like crazy. We had to pack for our trip, unpack, pack to come back to the trailer, and then unpack at the trailer. Sam's gone into town to do some stuff that we need to have done. Ooh. The, what is on your fur? Oh, that's freezy, blue freezing. Oh, you have blue freezy on your fur. Freezy on your fur. How normal is that? Like, why does she have blue uh, freezy on her I fur? I spilt some on her. You spilt some on her? Oh, well, yeah. that's what dogs are for, to catch all your mess, right? She's probably standing straight underneath you, hoping to catch anything you dropped. Yeah, she does that when I have food. And she's a lover. <laughs> And then we got some love happening over there too. Guess Sophie. what? <laughs> Sophia fell asleep on that couch last night. Yeah, Sophie fell asleep on this couch last night. Like my girls do not fall asleep unless they're in their bed. And Sophie was passed out. No, Sophia falls asleep. She was I... so sleepy. Then we put you, Dad put you in your own bed, huh? Yeah. Man. Um, anyway, we have so many things on the agenda today. One of them is rest. One of them is relaxation. One of them, one of them oh, is swim. Oh. I haven't got to see the girls swim with their new masks yet. Another thing, a really, really hard thing, like a big challenging stop. thing we're going to do today is brush this hair. No. Yeah, we have to. We aren't because we're going swimming. <laughs> yeah, see, that's how they catch me. Every single time they're like, I'm just going swimming. So we have a shower at night. And in the morning, they dive in the water and their hair is a mess again. We need some kind of leave-in conditioner or something. Yeah, so those are the things that we have on the agenda today. We still have Gabby's lesson to share with you. But, um, our horses have been having time off. They've had three days. Today's the third day. We'll go see them tomorrow. I don't know if we'll ride tomorrow. We probably will ride tomorrow. Yeah, we are. Yeah, yeah. Um, because we don't want them to get all stiff and stuff. But I'm almost recuperated from our trip, so I know that they must be almost recuperated from our trip. Huh? They are. Yeah. I'm excited to see them and see what our instructor thinks about how well they manage the trip and stuff. Like I haven't really had a time, chance to She's talk to her about now. all the stuff we did. She's not long enough to be scarred. Yeah, this dog you guys don't know, but she used to always climb on our neck and lay there, especially in the winter. She used to always be like wrapped around our neck. <laughs> Before I can rest though, I still have work to do. I have two videos I need to edit for Sophie's channel, so I'll probably do, do one today. The last one um, from our trip, and then she has another one. I also have videos that we shot before our trip that I still have to edit. Like, it, it's life. This job is a lot of work, you guys. Like, don't knock it <laughs> till you tried it, because it is so much work, but so worth it. My injured heel is not hurting right now. I'm shocked. I'm walking and it's not hurting. This is the first time in like two weeks since I heard it. Maybe even three weeks. I can just barely feel it there. Wow, that's incredible. All right, show me how it works. All right, Sophie. follow our social media then you know I've been asking people to tell me what is your horsey bucket list because I'm looking for other new things exciting fun things for us to do with our horses so comment below what is on your horses bucket list what, what do you want to do with the horses go camping 
yeah, they're all about the camping now. One thing that I really want to do with the girls that I think would be really valuable and really fun and really exciting is to find some clinics that I could that we could take our horses to because now that we have horses they can actually go to some clinics and um, I know that there are some jumping clinics out there I just need to find something close to us and something kind of their age level um, I know Gabby really wants to do some horsemanship stuff so that's what I'm gonna be looking for in the next couple of days to see if we can do something like that um, anyway we are gonna have lunch now we're starving and something just makes you hungry and then um, you guys, while we eat, you guys can watch Gabby's lesson from this week. This is me, I'm so royal, and you all wanna be brown. So Gabby's putting on her spurs, sitting side saddle on her horse. But your horse hardly moves. Right, keep going. Good luck, be nice. So adjust your reins, you need to grab the top of them and slide your hands down. No more pulling them wide to shorten them. I got change to throw, I don't care about no gold Better, so much better, flipping the credit ball Always on the show, so they know that I still got it And I never feel sorry, yeah, I took the world This is me, I'm so royal And you all wanna be round Yeah, you all wanna be round Round a champion, a champion This is me, I still own it Cause you all wanna be loved Yeah, you all wanna be loved But a champion when I hear him come like my fuse and then ba-bum Let us see you later, I'm about to blow this up You can sing my song if you want, I know you want it It's always kinda funny, yeah, cause you I know I'm a superstar in the sky A little bit more trot, squeeze your heel, hold and then let him go I'll come back to Good call That's better, push your hands forward Shorten our reins a little bit. Grab the tops of them. Good. I want you to imagine that your thumbs are like little guns. And you have to point your thumb or your shooters wherever you want to go. So if you're going forward, your thumb should be pointing forward. If you're turning, your thumbs both turn in the direction you want to go. I want you to think about that as you're riding. Wow, your hands look so good. Starting them up. One on the wall needs to be a little shorter. And you all wanna be round. And you all wanna be round. Round a champion, a champion. This is me. Your body. Keep your body straight and point your thumbs in the way you want to go. Pew pew, shoot your gun. Checking to see if you're awake. What? He's checking to see if you're awake. I feel like he holds a grudge. Pew pew. We're gonna go over the light brown pole and change direction.
connection to his mouth. Stretch your heels and stick your booty out. Stick your booty out. Go back in the saddle a little more. There you go. Stretch the heel. Good. Heels and booty. Heels and booty. We don't want a turtle shell on our back. We want a nice flat back. Stick your bum out and take a nice flat back. Try and keep your lower leg a little more still. It's a little floppy. It's kicking him every step of the way. So grip it on and stick your bum out. No one ever said it was easy. <laughs> I know. Pull your shoulders back a little bit. Stick your bum out and pull your shoulder back. Back to rising. Change direction over the white pole. Work out, squeeze and hold. That's it, squeeze and hold. Squeeze and hold. Try not to kick him the whole time, that's it. Squeeze, hold, and then let him go. There's no use in looking back. Gotta laugh, I gotta live. Cause I'm so over the past. And I'm living it fast. When I canter, I'm holding on for dear life. I couldn't let go and <coughs> pet him. Okay, we need more. Dig both spurs in. Come, come. There. Again, squeeze. Better. Stretch through your heels. We're pinching a little too much with our knees. Those knees should not be holding on. Our knees do nothing. It's really not a good thing to hold on with. That's better. Calves and thighs. Bang your loud like a drum. Let me be your only one. Full seat. Remember not to work harder than he is. When we're falling into our outside stirrup. Let's make our inside leg longer. Close your fingers and try and keep your hands closer together. Pew pew with your thumbs. Elbows down. Good. And rising trot. Come across the diagonal. And walk. I was worried you blow my reputation. 
And if you're just gonna gently use the rein, he says, well, I'm stronger than you and I'll just go around it. You're gonna take his head and you're gonna pull it to the middle of that jump. Squeeze. Squeeze, 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 pull, 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 yes. We're going over the jump, sir. Boy. Now let's do it again. Yeah, that was awesome, you Gabby. Just the box. What? Because I have to, Mom. When you learn Look something. Up. Squeeze. I put her in the middle and squeeze, 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 squeeze. We need a little bit more leg. Get him moving forward. Stay heel down. We got it up by his saddle pad. Get him down by his belly. Squeeze. Both heels. Now put him straight. Good. Give me one more time, sir. We can't hurt him. We're done. Get to the first one, stand her to the second one, just like you just did. Heels down, please. You're kicking him in the saddle pad. Stand her, squeeze. Good job. Let him walk. suck at resting we do like <laughs> terribly yeah Gabby's like no I don't suck at resting I just wanted to hang out but we are out shopping um, school's about to start in a couple of weeks for us and we are trying to get our classroom ready so we are out looking to see if we can find some kind of desks for our back room I don't know what I'm gonna do with that room yet do you have any ideas yeah what <gasps> wait look red and blue lawn chairs <laughs> Um, These pillows are nice. Oh my gosh. This is what we need for the trailer. I like this one. This one's called Sophie. Yeah, I like this one. It's called Sophie. Sophie pillow. I want just a blue one. These are cute. Daddy, let's go high. Oh, look at those pillows. Three for 60. Two for 60? Three for 60. We need these for our... our I want one of those. <gasps> those are balls. Those are too big. Okay. Oh my! I want one of those. Or the whiteboard. Yeah, I want a whiteboard. Where could I hang it though? That could go. Or the hole. Yeah, I like it. Nothing better than trying out beds. That one looks comfy. No. This one. Oh. I'm going to be doing, um, uh, there's going to be a, uh, a fall clothing haul on our channel soon, as soon as I get it edited. And um, I'm going to do like a curriculum in our school room and all that kind of stuff, a video on all that, just for any of you guys who are interested. That'll be. I have to actually film that video still. Oh Alright, so God. the issue that I'm having is that if we put desks in our sun, in our playroom, in our schoolroom, then they're going to be facing walls. And I, So I'm thinking I just want a big table. This has four chairs. I love this. What if we put two of these together? I actually really like this, but I was thinking of white. So I want like something that's higher up. And I have this table over here too. Wow, that's only 100 bucks, But it's probably lower. Anyways, so if we got two of these sets, I really like the stools. They're actually comfortable. And we put them side by side. It would be like one big long table, but not too long. I like that, but I like this too. I just wish it was in white. So this is the kind of table that I think I like. Um, I just like how the size of it, it's long and it's big enough that the girls can put their laptops on there and still have a spot for working. And that's kind of like the size that I Mom. want. And I want white. Mom, no, and Gabby clearly wants a really high table. <laughs> no. 
Uh, look at this desk though. It's actually over here. It's got a spot for your, I don't know, pencils. And so you can put your computer on the side table here and then do your writing here. But when it comes to this stool, I don't know, that might work. Mom, that sounds cool because look it. And it has like that, and then it has okay, the Okay, well, well what about this? Did you get this? <laughs> Little cowboy. No. Toby wouldn't. But look at this little it. octopus. Toby's pulling off that, Mom. Like his head would only, not even fit in this. That's it. Yeah. And a shark. Or the shark. No, he's a shark because he What did you guys find? I found the mermaid. Fairy. A mermaid. Mom, can you please buy these? And that's adorable. Can you please buy these? This but one like would this probably one fit. Yeah. They wouldn't fit. Mom, Mom there's different sizes. Mom, Mom this do you think oh, I always love the hot dog. Oh, there's a cookie. Oh my god. Look at that. Oh my god, there's cookie, Sophia. Oh yeah, that's cookie for cookie. Some of you guys have been asking me, Laura, you need your own horse now, and it's true. Uh, I need my own horse more now than ever before. Do you think I should get my own horse? Yes. What? Yes. I could just share your horse? No. You think I should get my own horse? Yes. Yeah. Um, I've been wanting a new horse now. Like, ever since we did the trail riding thing, I've been wanting my own horse, and I'm not gonna lie, I've been looking at horses. And when we first started this whole horsey journey, the kind of horse that I loved were Gypsy Vanner horses. Gypsy Vanner. Yeah, I loved them. I them. And then as we went along, my taste started to change, and then I loved quarter horses so much. And I love paints a lot too. Like, <sighs> when we were camping, I met a Gypsy Vanner Arabian cross horse, and it was a mare, and she was gorgeous. And I'm ever since. White. A brown and white. And ever since that moment, I have been rekindling my love for Gypsy Banners. And I'm not going to lie, I've been looking them up in our area and seeing what there is. So, the only problem is this. I don't think I'm ready for a horse yet. And tell me if it seems stupid, but this is why I don't think I'm ready for a horse yet. Do you think I'm ready for a horse? Yeah. I know. What? I know. Gabby does. Wow, tell me in the comments below. Do you guys think I'm ready for a horse? This is why I feel like I'm not ready for a horse. It's because I'm I still, be training it. I'm still a nervous I'm rider and I still don't ride all the time. Like I feel like I'd have to ride all the time, like four days a week to exercise the horse if I got a horse. And I just don't know if I have it in me to go to the barn four days a week and ride a horse. Like the girls do, they ride every time we go. Well, they ride easily every time they can, every opportunity they can get, but I, I I don't know that I could do that yet. I think I still need to like get through that stage where I ride more. I need to learn to ride more and, and I'm nervous to ride by myself without our instructor there. So how would I ever exercise a horse so and keep it in shape? So that's my big thing like I need to get past that stage and like start riding more before I can get a horse but no. you never know maybe it can get a horse this fall in the spring I'm thinking in the fall. spring I think I'm fall. gonna try fall. Uh, oh, there's more horses for sale in the fall but anyway comment below let me know what do you guys think you think I'm ready for a horse anyway that is it for today we'll see you guys tomorrow where we're back at the barn up, up. bye up up dog <laughs> Don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.